Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today I'm showing you guys my 1953 Chevrolet Corvette. This is my King's all-wheel drive drift and here is the share code. Got it? Great. Yeah, I saw one of my friends uh, last night online with this uh, thing. Um, his name is Lost Souls, so huge shout out to Lost Souls. Um, and I'm going to show you guys um, my tune on this car and there's a reason why i didn't share this uh because it's got what i call a fantasy tune on here or a um a tune that a beginner or a noob would make i'll show you what i mean when we see the alignment either way let's get into this and show you guys what i did to this thing all right, so we've got the racing 3.0 liter inline six T giving you all that power in an A class. We've got the all wheel drive drivetrain in there as well. All right, we've got, we removed the uh, front bumper on this thing. All right, that's what it looks like right there. Okay, I didn't even get a good look at it. Oh, okay, cool, all right. All right, rear spoiler, rear wing, nothing there. Uh, you can put that on there, which is pretty cool looking. All right, or, you know, the adjustable. But I have a stock rear wing spoiler. All right, I removed the rear bumper. All right, there you go. You got the street side skirts. And you got a street hood, as you can see, it's up there. All right, so those are your options right there. All right, we just got a stock tire compound. And as you can tell by the rims, this thing slides. All right, those tires are, are hard as a rock. All right, either way, tire width is stock for the front and stock for the rear. All right, there's what the original rims would look like, except these ones are massive. Of course, I got my Wed Sport TC 105 ends on there. I've got 21 inch rims in the front, <coughs> 21 inch rims in the rear, excuse me. All right, stock uh, track width, uh, width in the front, stock in the rear. All right. Here we just got a stock transmission, six speed, race drive line, and a drift differential. Here you got race brakes, drift springs and dampeners, no anti-roll bars for the front, no anti-roll bars for the rear, no roll cage, and as light as possible, we're saving 743 pounds. And then, of course, everything here is race. Now, I don't remember how old this tune is, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have anti-lag. And we can pretty much find that out right here. Nope. No anti-lag. So there you go. There, there's the anti-lag right there. I tuned this thing before the anti-lag came out. So there's that. And not everybody likes anti-lag. All right. Car mastery for this thing. As you can tell, you can see everything that's in there. Pretty cool stuff. And then the tune. And when we get to that alignment, you're going to see it's tuned like a noob, like a complete beginner. Either way, we got 55 55 to maximize that slide. All right, here is the gearing. As you can tell, it didn't have to go all the way to the very end. All right. And then there's this. Negative 5.0, negative 5.0, positive 5.0, positive 5.0 with a 7 degree front caster. That's how you tune as a complete beginner and you don't know what you're doing. That's, that's, uh, that's how I think everybody starts out when it comes to drifting. They're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to max out the numbers and see what happens. That's exactly what everybody does. All right. Into roll bars, there is none to worry about. All right, springs are maxed out so stiff as possible, and then low as you can go is four, five, and five, two. All right, dampening is 21, 20, and 20. 
All right, no downforce to worry about. Brakes are just left at 50 and 100, so stock there. And then differential is 78, 88, 98, 98, and 90% going to the rear. How old is this tune? It is from 2022. Wow. Two years ago. Crazy. Yeah, 10. Wow, 10. Yeah, it's crazy. Either way, moving on. And that's the tune. That's the build. You know this thing drifts. <laughs> uh, there's no doubt about that. I mean, if you can, I mean, tuning like a noob, it works. You know, it gets you by. And I mean, I know Lost Souls was was loving it. So, I mean, it, it, it works. It's still a great tune, you know. You can't just base it all on the alignment. You know, we still got 90% going to the rear. It's it's phenomenal. And I, I mean, it drifts for days. For days. And the red lines for days. She's a slider, though. Going out there. It's all right, though. There's a 43.3 right there. And it helps when going off off the uh, off the road there. But it works. It gets the job done. What else do you want? So, yeah. And that's my tune for this beautiful 1953 Chevy Corvette. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.